Hello my friends, I hope you remember my previous video when I disassembled the uh, Dell power pack and this is built like a built-in power pack not the one you actually pl can plug in and unplug and um, in that particular video I was showing that there are some batteries which are good which are bad and I was actually uh, telling that I was gonna take them out of the case so here we are I pulled out the batteries those batteries from the case and uh, completely ripped it apart so we have a controller board over here and we have a battery. Obviously the batteries are the most interesting to me because the controller board highly unlikely will be reused. I just keep it in my part being for whatever reason. We're gonna take a look at it a bit later, but first of all we're gonna take a look at those batteries. So what do we have here? So this is, um, I took some time in attempt to research what kind of batteries are those. I have no idea who manufactures them. So it says LS SP6 uh, four five four six four SG and very important thing is that this is 3.85 volt battery well, Why this is important recent batteries um, technology a little bit changed and they allow you to pump a little bit more energy Into those so the nominal voltage of this battery is 385 and if you measure the full charged um, voltage of this battery um, it's gonna be let me show you a multimeter here. I'm gonna show you just like this. It's gonna be something to, you see, it's uh, 429 volt. Let's take a look at this battery. 420. So all those batteries charged more than 4.2 volts. Actually, the, the full, uh, full uh, charged voltage of this one is 435. So uh, that's allow um, uh, to put a little bit more energy in those batteries even they are single cell and uh, they have um, comparable to uh, other battery size this is uh, this allowed to put a little bit more energy which is uh, kind of awesome and in same time not to be too far away from the um, uh, standard uh, lithium battery voltages like uh, 3.7 4.2 so I was able to salvage six batteries out of them but not all six of them are actually good as you notice already um, some of the batteries this has 4.3 this one 417 and I tell you why and this one three points oh well this battery is going down and this one is nothing okay so those four batteries in good condition those two batteries are not so good condition. This one is a little bit better than this one. So this particular battery is completely gonski. Uh, even I thought the battery is, this one's battery is kind of puffed up. This one's battery is completely fine, but it's zero. So those two were zero volt. I was able to sort of recover this battery doing some sort of tricks uh, with my charger, charging it first as a nickel metal hydride. When the voltage go went a little bit up and I was charging it as they uh, it needed at least 3.3.1 uh, 3, at least 3 volts in order to start charging as a lithium battery so I was able to sort of recover this battery but you as you see it's already uh, it doesn't hold the charge it already 3.78 volt so that was actually charged to 4.2 uh, those four is is like I pulled them with 4.3 volt out of the case of this case and they still keep that charge so this battery is really good those two is, are not so good so this maybe will be useful for some projects this is completely gonski and I might just do uh, autopsy on this one to see what's inside just for giggles because it has zero volt so uh, it doesn't have not supposed to have any and, and unless there is internal damage to it and that still has um, some charge in it um, uh, so it would be really nice to know what manufacturer is this because uh, my googling did not yield any proper search results uh, I'm gonna show the screenshot close-up screenshot of this or uh, photo of this battery maybe someone gonna give me some information to uh, to give a little bit more insight what who's the who's manufacturing those batteries batteries yeah, obviously a uh, very interesting question why this battery pack died why two batteries actually cropped out uh, because th this is this is relatively new power pack and usually they're supposed to last long so maybe there is a high failure rate in those batteries so also I'll be looking in depth uh, for that uh, charger controller but what I can say this is this chippy over here 
I'm gonna zoom up a little bit. Not much. We can I can zoom up, but um, this chip over here is the TI charge controller, and uh, this is um, uh, EEPROM to to contain all charge charging parameters. These two are most beefy MOSFETs. Uh, and this one is the uh, fuse. Um, there is not much else going on in here, um, so technically uh, yeah, I cannot reuse this charge controller for any other batteries or any other uh, battery pack repairs because far as I understand the chemistry of each of the individual batteries is recorded in here so you cannot just really nearly switch uh, batteries as you want but this is remain to oh yeah to see well one of the interesting thing is this thermistor so it is um, uh, it is like attached here it was attached to just one of the batteries which was situated in this area and those flex uh, flexible kind of wings where they were just uh, welded everything was actually welded so this is actually pretty neat uh, I'm gonna keep this board around maybe you know if you need this sort of board ping me I can just send it to you but uh, if you have something broken but uh, I think I think I will uh, keep it for experiments uh, I will also there, there is some data sheets um, on this contact whatever uh, each of those means and I don't even sure if we can actually properly talk to this chip because it uses some sort of protocol which I don't think it's I, I square C and SPI there is something else SM I think it's SM bus or SMB and uh, I'm not familiar with that one at all uh, I think this is um, a little update um, on on uh, uh, batteries I planning to reuse those four batteries in my project this one will be like a backup battery because first of all I think it's puffed up and second it's um, losing charge relatively quickly this is Gonski and will be another video about autopsy of this particular one but I don't think we'll see much anything interesting in here we just regular um, lithium battery but who knows maybe these batteries are a little bit different from whatever we see from others and because of they are newer newer technology maybe we see some cool stuff inside uh, yeah stay tuned for uh, autopsy video you're gonna mark this battery as bad one because I usually keep all of them in this little pouches to make sure they're not gonna short because they just have two contacts just sticking out like that it's very dangerous because these guys has a lot of energy have a lot of energy in them um, well guys I think this is it for now this relatively quick video a little, a little update and some some of the information will be on my web page and I will be updating web page um, uh, showing the maybe, maybe we'll figure out the, what kind of batteries are those maybe there is a their characteristics and some information thank you guys for watching see you next time please like and subscribe and um, um, please comment if you have some suggestion always happy to hear from you ciao